images of Jesus in the midst of his community, his church, an interpretation of the New Testament. The Holy Scripture employs seven images to describe the love that God has for those who obey Jesus Christ. One. A good shepherd leading his flock. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock, in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers, to care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. 2. A vine nourishing its branches. I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. 3. A head directing its body. We, though many, are one body in Christ, and individually members one of another. God has put all things under his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. 4. A groom adoring his bride. I feel a divine jealousy for you, since I betrothed you to one husband, to present you as a pure virgin to Christ. Husbands, love your wives, as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, so that he might present the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. 5. A king governing his realm. The kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Whoever thus serves Christ is acceptable to God and approved by men. They will make war on the Lamb, and the Lamb will conquer them for he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings, and those with him are called and chosen and faithful. 6. A father caring for his family. Pray like this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts. Those whom he foreknew he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. 7. A deity filling his temple. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? For God's temple is holy, and you are that temple. You are built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone, in whom the whole structure, being joined together, grows into a holy temple in the Lord.